We're the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, this Queen of Wands, it's showing a woman, and this woman is one that has a has a lot of fire energy. She could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And if we're not referring to an actual person that's in your life, it's about you, Aquarius. Getting a lot of things accomplished, and you could be focused on your work or career. Keep in mind, this queen is a very positive, uplifting energy. Now, when she does stand for an actual woman, a person in your life, she's a really good friend. 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, keep in mind, if you're trying to conceive at this time, and this card appears in your reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So it's a yes. It's a good time to conceive. Now the Queen of Wands is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands, as you can see in this picture, you might start to feel towards the end of April or mid-April that you're carrying some type of heavy burden. As you can see, this man is walking forward but he looks like he's actually about to fall backwards. So you might want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you might find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally actually belongs to someone else. So it will be important for you to pace yourself towards the later half of April. Try not to take on too much. So basically, for the present time, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. You're very deter you'll be very determined about something. Very determined. And it's going to cause some difficulties. Something you're going to be just giving it 100%. Very positive about. You're going to use a very uplifting energy. And... You're trying to get what you want, and you're determined about it. There's something that you're very set on getting as this Queen of Wands, but it's difficult. It's causing you to feel like you've got the world on your shoulder, the world on your shoulders. So you're going to feel weighed down, like something's a burden. And it's only because you, you're very determined. I could use that word a hundred times. Just by looking at the way this man is walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. Something you you got your your hearts or your mind set on. But it's it's gonna be like um, what do you, what do you, what do they say? Uh, I can't think of that saying, but it's going to be very hard. It's going to be like paddling upstream without a paddle. I'm trying to think of one of those sayings, but anyway. you got something really heavy uh, coming up in um, towards mid-end of April. And like I said, it's only because... You're determined. You're determined to get it accomplished. You're determined to do whatever it is you're trying to do. Okay? Mud is going to um, make, like I said, it's going to feel like a heavy load. So just remember to pace yourself if you can do that. Now, let's take a look at your person. If you're dealing with someone 
how they see you is this nine of cups and it's paired with a knight of cups now the nine of cups is a beautiful card in the reading guess what Aquarius it's just short of one cup to make it ten so it's a wish card all right so the nine of cups one of the most uplifting pleasant cards to receive in a reading it is known as the wish card it can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is going to be yours in a very brief period of time now the appearance of this card it's about happiness and good things to come it usually means that like I said what you want is likely to being in your life and if you're asking a yes or no type of question this card is a very powerful yes very powerful okay so if you're in a relationship it's going to deeper become sweeter and uh, this is how your person is seeing you they see you as their wish they see you as um, blessed and satisfied now because it's with this knight of cups it's another very positive card in the, in the tarot it's optimistic and it comes with messages usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive things are going well and you're probably feeling charged up and ready to take action just like this man is doing on this he's on a fish a big fish and he's charged up and he's ready to go for it uh, non-stop that's what it look, this picture looks like and this is how your person is seeing you so they see you are uh, very romantic they think you're romantic and really sensitive with this knight of cups yeah and it's a yes it's a yes with this um, knight of cups and you're charging in with your cup of romance and passion and love and they they see you as blessed and satisfied so it's a yes two positive very positive cards in the tarot let's take a look at how you see them you see them like the death card and you also see them like the page of cups so the death card does not actually or even well, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. And it can be it can be considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. Very irresponsible. Because we're all creatures with free will and such things they're not written in stone. This card it simply indicates transformation and change. So it's about deep transformation and it could be internally and externally situations things and people that you had counted on or had gotten used to they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way quite the same way as they once were the transition can be really difficult for some people change is nearly always needed though So this is how you see your person. You see them as deeply unhappy. Yeah, you you picking up that they're deeply unhappy, and that you feel like they could be in this connection because they're sticking around because it's familiar. They don't want to let go of the familiar. Or maybe you think they're just with you because they hate the thought of being alone. 
Wow. And you see them also as this Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, it's showing in this picture. You see these three, they're at the park, they're hanging loose, they got the clothes off, and they're pouring, they're turning up the bottle. So it's called the Page of Cups. It's showing a need to play, dream, and have a little fun. Now, because this card is appearing in your reading, it sometimes means that uh, you've probably been taking yourself too serious, Aquarius. Well, since we're talking about how you see them, you're seeing them this way. Taking themselves too serious. So, you see them as Page of Cups and the Death card. Now, like I said, I explained the death card. You think they might be just sticking around because, like I said, it's a comfortable pair of shoes. Or they just don't want to be alone. And you see them as... Hmm, you see them as a rather wanting to just hang loose. Yeah, you see them as, yeah, not really wanting to be in this connection because they just rather hang out at the park and be a kid. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, they just want to play, Aquarius. They don't want anything really serious. And you know this. And... You feel like it's bringing this connection to some type of conclusion. Finality. And you probably, you probably want something more serious, but they just want to, like I said, be childish. And that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening because of the star card and because of the two of pentacles. So, the star card is a beautiful card in the, in the tarot. Very beautiful. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to interrupt you. Hold on one second. Someone's at my door. Okay, sorry about that. All right, now the star card is a very beautiful card in the tarot. Um, it gives a new sense of hope, inspiration, and feeling uplifted, finding the way, clarity. That's what the star card brings. Like I said, it's a beautiful card in the tarot. It also indicates that that you're right where you need to be and your goals are they're within reach there's a light at the end of the tunnel when you get the star card any grief and despair of the past is released now it's with this two of Pentacles I'm sorry I got a lot of distractions in this reading so if I sound like I'm off I am but I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to the reading, so thank you for hanging in there with me. So, the star card, I explained that, and um, it's with the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles, it could be about two main issues that you have in your mind. And it's about trying to pull back from paying attention to so many things. Because multitasking is not your friend. It's not your friend, so it's about cutting down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. 
when it talks about love and relationships, you could be having trouble finding time for each other. So it's about making sure that it remains high on your priority list. Because if you don't, it won't be there for you when you come back. So why it's happening, the star and two of pentacles. There is a light at the end of the tunnel in this connection. Yeah, grief, any any pain or sorrow that you have or had about this connection, uh, it's going to be released. Like I said, it will definitely be released. And you'll have some inner clarity. And um, this will come about once you find balance. You might find like you're juggling a lot of things, multitasking, because you, you see your person as, like I said, as this death card and that they, they just rather would be immature so it causes a lot of imbalance it caused you to feel off and lose it and probably you felt not together but with this two of pinnacles uh, you pull yourself back together and you become a stir that you were before you met this person so this is a really good thing why it's happening. Now we did talk about some heavy burden in the beginning. And um, I'm picking up that the way you see your person had a lot to do with this heavy burden. And now it's interesting because they see you as... Like I said, the, the Nine of Cups is a blessing. So they're seeing you, you, they see you thinking that this is a blessing. Or, yeah, they see you as a blessing, a wish come true. And that you're, they think you're coming in to offer a cup of love. But you see them... totally different and it caused some imbalance there but you come back as a star Aquarius and it's interesting because the star card is that's the sign of Aquarius the star card so yeah they just want to play they just want to have fun you're probably looking for something more committed and you realize this so you stop the juggling and you narrow down all this craziness that was going on in this connection. And you just focus on two main things. And one is you being the star. And the other is something else that's more important to you. Probably not this connection. This connection. This connection. This connection. This connection.